Hey there. Okay, my mic is working. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go probably into this trial. And then I'm going to do some ASMR crafting. And the reason I'm saying it's ASMR is because um, I got a couple of, just a couple too. <laughs> Comments about, oh my gosh. But, you know, they were, of course, accounts that were created, uh, ironically, I think it's four weeks ago when the, <clears throat> when this name kept leaving comments like that. They created their account just for me. And every comment they leave is negative. So I'm sure it's truly credible, huh? And it's not one of one of the trolls. Well, you're blocked now, and so is your friend who left the comment. You know, if you're going to do that, you should stagger your comments a little bit. But just for you guys, since you love it so much, and I know you watch every single second of whatever we do, because you can't stop. You are obsessed. need help. But just for you, I am going to do what I call intense paper flowering after we go over the trial. And I know you're going to be so excited for that. So that's just for you. I'm going to fold the flowers, crinkle them as loudly as possible. Because I know that you love it. Got to give all the people that depend on their content on us their, their content, right? Because they can't make any of their own. Isn't that the truth? So we'll, we'll give you talentless people your content. It's a lot of work, you know, because I not only have to create my content, I have to think about creating your content. Wow. Okay, let's see this. Let me get this. I'm sorry. I've been working outside all day. My shirt is like falling off or something. I don't know what the heck it is. It's, it's kind of big. And I feel like it's falling off. It's driving me like a little crazy. Um, but I'm not going to run up and change it now. I'm working in the garden. Got everything planted. I worked outside, all that good stuff. Okay, so let me just put this down here. And I know how much they love this. I gotta do this. just got to put the tags in and then we'll go on to the trial hope you're all doing well okay and then some serious business please pray for Elizabeth T her mom is very very ill and um, she's in hospice care and she's only 65 so Please, um, she's, she needs prayers. Remember I asked about her, what was it last night? That's why she hasn't been around and she's a really hard time processing everything. And um, so please, she's asked for prayers because I was checking on her and that's when I heard it. And prayers for Debbie Bright, Brett, as I said. Um, she lost her sister that suddenly and unexpectedly at the cemetery, I believe it was. And then um, please pray for, let me see here, Slam Art Ann lost a good friend recently. Please pray for her. And then, um, of course, Nana Patty, but there's somebody that hasn't been here that, and I was just going to say it. 
Oh my gosh, my mind is drawing. Elizabeth. 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 Elizabeth, Debbie Brad. Who am I forgetting here? There was this Slamoran. Oh, that's it. Muppets and Manilow. Muppets and Manilow, because they're all going through some tough stuff. And I know a lot of you are also too, so prayers for everyone in general, but just I wanted to make a specific and give you an update. Okay. All right. Oh my goodness. So, all right, I'm going to get my notes out. I'm just adding this in. Oh my goodness, I added the wrong tags in. Hold on a second. I'm going crazy. And do you know what I found out about the cat, the uh, cash case? You know where all of the, oh my gosh, I can't believe it is happening. It happens in a Facebook group. Random people come in and post something. And then a creator goes like this. Okay, I'm going to go live now about this. And acts like it's their secret inside information. <laughs> Today I called one to Scooter. I said, look at this. Non-factual information. I bet you that there'll be a live created about it. I think it was not even 30 minutes since when it dropped that there was that creator in there saying it and then doing a, a whole live about it. That's probably still going on now on the insider information. It's really quite, it's really quite um, sleazy, but it's just the way it is. Okay, please tell me I have the right ones in now. I'm just going to move along. My, my mouse is not, I probably need a mouse pad where I'm working. Oh my gosh, it keeps putting the wrong tags in. Okay. Hold on. I just have to, I just have to get out of here because I can't even get out of here. Just, it just put in a whole bunch of freaking tags. I'll be right there. Try it one more time here. YouTube is going crazy tonight. Okay, it's finally doing it. I just have to wait for them to load up. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to go back. I go into the chat. Make sure that just make sure, like a hundred percent, that you can hear me. Okay, so let's see. Let's just make sure we have Nana T. Oh no. Karen, Nana T saying, oh no, I don't know why. Karen H, what happened? Sour milk and cookies. Sour milk and cookies, I want to talk to you. You sent me something, number one, to my mommy ramblings email address. You'll want to send it to carolyn at truecrimechat.org. Mommy ramblings is only for my blog stuff, and I get so much email there that your emails will get lost there. So I did see it, but you sent me no body to your email, nothing at all, and then uh, something to click on, which was an MP4 video. 
I don't click on videos like that. I don't do that. I can't see what it is. I don't know why you're sending it to me. There's no body to the email. You haven't explained anything. So I wrote you back and I said, I don't know what this is. I, again, since I don't check that email all the time because it gives me a lot of stress because there's so many projects in there that I have to do, I can't go into it all the time. I didn't go back into it. So if you want to, if to explain what it was, you can email me at carolyn at truecrimechat.org. All right. Thank you. Um, hi, Karen McCann, uh, Nana Patty, Jess Sunspear. Um, let's see. Sean Sneed, Linda Uribe, Karen H, Mimi F, Aunt She, um, Deborah Vancouver Din, Sully, Shay, um, do, do, do. Isabel, Alicia, Mimi, I ain't got you right. Okay. Kathy. Try to go through this slow so I can get everybody. Um, those are used to lies. Robity Bob. Moo of Two. Tam Lynn. Did I check my email regarding Slack? No. Did you send me an email for Slack? Uh, no. Were you the one that I said to send me a profile of something? I haven't. I, I've been so crazy busy uh, today. I haven't really got to check emails. I'm very behind, but I, I'll get to them. Lurk E. Aurora Rodriguez. Okay. Okay. Sporting Guista. All right, I'm going to go ahead with the trial. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is just tell you a little bit more about the, the other people. And I, I think I don't even need my notes, but I'll pull my notes up anyway. I went over some of this with you on my birthday about the sun. I find the sun highly suspect, and I found out what, why, what was driving me nuts about this sun. The sun looks like, and this scares me too, because I can't remember his name. This sun, the one that was the actor in This Is Us, because I haven't watched This Is Us. Oh my gosh. Jimmy and I were watching it, and then this whole YouTube thing and I think we stopped watching it and I had it on the DVR and, and all that and we never finished watching it. We got to the part where he was finding out his dad had a brother. Okay. But I don't remember what the, I can't remember what his name is now, but the son, you know, the, um, the, the biological son. I'm trying to remember his name, the one that was the actor and the nanny or the manny. This son looks like this guy and he has mannerisms, mannerisms and acts like that on the stand. And he's very, um, he has an air about him. Like I said, he does not seem credible to me. He uses language the way, remember, um, Kim Kaufman, right? You see it? You see it, right? Yeah, it makes sense. Kind of like that when people are trying to persuade you to their line of thinking. He says a lot of things that don't need to be said. And when someone starts just filling in like all this information that you don't need and it's not the question, it's usually because they're lying. Um, there's so many things wrong with the story of finding that bullet casing between the aunt and the son. It's very, very troubling to me. Very troubling. So, let me go back here. I think that we 
talk, we, t we went over the opening statements about Joan, you know, Joan Harmon, the ex-wife, and wanting to ruin the life. And then I believed we talked about Aunt Diana. Okay, about the aunt. And now we have Matt. I know we talked about Aunt Diana, so let me get to Matt here. Oh, are you kidding? It didn't send me my right notes. Okay, I, it doesn't matter because I because I know it. I know it anyway. Um, Matt got on. The defense attorney says you you wouldn't see me when I stopped at your house, and he said, "Well, you stopped over unexpectedly." And then he says, "Well, wait a minute." But then you sent me a note. Remember, you sent me a note, and you said I don't want to cooperate. I'm not going to cooperate. Yes, that's right. So he wasn't cooperating at all. And what this defense, the defense did really, really well, really well with um, the aunt and, and with Matt. Because he showed that Matt had a motive. And he showed you that Matt was needing a conviction. So Matt offers this reward. He also offers up a billboard, okay? He writes letters. He has a letter writing campaign. And he says, well, wouldn't... Wouldn't you want someone the responsible for this? And he said, but no, you wanted, you know, he makes sense. You wanted the defendant. You didn't want the person responsible. You wanted the defendant, didn't you? Him. And then he skates around the issue. Um, but what is that? What is that going on? What? Okay, keep subscribing. Have fun. Anyway, I don't care. So we'll just make you a little, little tiny, little tiny like you are. Little tiny people. So he go. He says, um, how did he word this? You were upset. You were upset they didn't arrest someone. And he says, no, I was right. no you were upset. Okay. They talked about the gun casing again, and to me, it's obvious, to me, as a juror, I would say, I don't believe these people. That's what I would say. If I was on that jury, mm -hmm. I wouldn't believe them. First of all, they care about the dog tags, right? The dog tags, the dog tags. They're so scared they have to leave. I went over this with you guys before, but they didn't turn the dog tags in until a week later, and the aunt said she was staying at the house, right? So how is that that they're so scared if they really think this guy is across the street and they still have this house in the family and they're still, you know, something's wrong. Something's wrong. Okay. So then the, he says, well, when you were cleaning out and I, and I know she was not living there then again, Joan Harmon, you found this CD that said top secret, right? And you took it, Right. So she still had this CD, which I don't understand unless she made... Okay, this doesn't make any sense at all. The storyline is that, from the prosecution, that when they were cleaning out, when she was moving out, when, when the Phillips were helping Joan move out of Kit's house, that she mentioned, okay, to the Phillips that, look, I have all this stuff on Kit all this classified army stuff. And then they said, you can't have this. And they either helped her or she went in and started that court martial. Okay. But then she still has a CD that says top secret and it has all that information on there. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. So that's number one. So he has that also. Okay, <laughs> then the um, girlfriend of Ed Danceru comes on. She basically didn't, didn't seem like she was involved in this at all, except to, to talk about the character of Ed and seemed like a really nice guy. And I think defense saw that too. The defense did not hammer her at all because there was nothing to hammer. Um, 
they even told her, I'm sorry for your loss at the end, okay? All right. Then we have, let me see, who's the other one? The, the uh, Lieutenant Smith. Wow. Lieutenant Smith made a lot of mistakes here, okay? We don't even go into the, about the finding of the dog tags or did you find the dog tags? They show that, I mean, I'm on the jury. I'm going to say, oh, no, they show the area where this bullet casing was found. And it's basically n nothing there. You know, all that junk that's on it later on when they find it, you don't see that in the crime scene. I wonder why you don't see any of that. In fact, you see that the cellar door pulled open, okay? You see the floor cut out because they took a sample of the floor. Then they put a piece of granite. I guess they had a piece of granite from something. They put that on top of that so someone doesn't fall and break their ankle. And it just shows me that mm -mm, no bullet casing was found. But then it gets even better. Apparently, this lieutenant mishandled some evidence, okay? And it was evidence from the burned out car. And whatever he did compromised this evidence that they couldn't test it. And the defense says, well, that, that could have been pivotal, pivotal evidence. And what happened? Well, he didn't allow enough air or something. It was packed. He put over, he overpacked it. It was useless. So then in the um, redirect, the uh, prosecutor, and I'm sorry, I am so sorry. I, I am not one to say that people have to retire at a certain age or whatever it is. I don't even know how old this woman truly is. But even Jimmy, okay, was getting exasperated because... The, it takes so long for her to go through the questioning and direct because it is literally like this. Okay. All right. Um, Lieutenant Smith. When you were at the, um, what I mean, okay, can you just hold a minute? Okay, just hang on one second. Okay, I, I need my notes. I don't have my, my right now. Okay. All right. When you were, when you were at that, did, did you refer to that back porch as a mudroom? Uh, oh, a back, okay. When you were on that, the back porch, yeah, uh, the uh, back porch. Did you, you had to cut away something? Did, yes. Do you remember what the date was? Okay. I'm, I'm telling you, that's what it is. Then she has to go get some more notes. I, I thought to myself, are you kidding me? She didn't have all her questions in one place. It is crazy. It is crazy. Okay, even J Jimmy just, just burst out because we were watching. He goes like this, come on, right? Because it was like, she's like, so, first she's very slow with the way she speaks, but she's not organized. She doesn't have her stuff. It's driving us crazy. Okay, and then when they're like, do you have any redirect? And she's like, I do, I do. And she gets up there. And she literally is going to ask two questions and doesn't even have them ready. Okay, so it's like, I'm sorry. I, like I said, I am all for people working late in life. I don't think people should be fired if they're competent. I don't think people should be fired based on their age or let go based on their age. But I'm just wondering, like, what the heck's going on here? Because it's it takes extra time to watch it. And it's just, it's, it's infuriating. So I... I usually go like almost to the cross. Anyway, during the cross, he says, well, didn't you in your grand jury, um, didn't you testify to the grand jury something about the phone? Okay, now here's the thing that's, 
the lieutenant testified using the phone records, not the actual phone of Kit Martin. So what he said to the grand jury is not correct, okay? And what the defense attorney is saying, the grand jury, you got an indictment because of you lied. You lied and you got an indictment. And he said, well, I didn't lie. I just didn't know what I know now. And he stressed home that, no, you got your indictment. And then he said, no, we got our indictment. Now, this is, this is, this is pivotal, too. This is very pivotal. He says, no, we got our indictment because of that bullet casing and the Glock in the safe. I don't think this case is going anywhere unless they pull something out. If that's their evidence, I, I think any juror would have reasonable doubt. I'm serious. I would definitely have reasonable doubt. So what he did, he's looking at the, the phone records and they're looking at towers that it pings on. And he's saying that there's no way the defendant could have been home because his phone pinged on such and such a tower. Well, that's not true because if you're on Main Street where they lived, the phone could ping off either tower. And when you look at the phone's location, okay, they see the phone's location. So he can't say that. He can't say with certainty based on the phone records, the defendant could never have been home. He was wrong. So, I mean... I really, I don't know. Jimmy's like, well, maybe they're going to pull out some kind of a tire track or something. But I mean, come on, wouldn't you have that? Wouldn't you have that in your opening statement? I don't think they have anything else. I don't think they're going to pull out that gas can that Juan Martinez did. Um, they, they do have a couple of kerosene cans that are found and they illuminated a little bit with the blue star product but they didn't test it it doesn't whose blood is on it could be any amount of blood it could be a small amount of blood it could be planted whatever they didn't even say who, who whose blood it is okay just that it illuminated a little near the handle of a of kerosene cans buried in the back of a shed i don't know you know i'm not i'm not feeling it at all I would have reasonable doubt at this point. I will continue watching it tomorrow, but that's that's basically it. The sun is very is not very credible. Okay, um, he did a lot of things to get to get the conviction, and it's looking like it was the conviction of Kit Martin that he wanted. Uh, a lot of the things they said don't make sense. The aunt was the same thing, and the aunt I know it's not admissible into court, but. She failed the polygraph, so, so you know, I, I'm not feeling it. Then you have all this shady stuff by the ex-wife. I don't know. Sounds to me like the ex-wife um, wanted some, I don't know. I'm not saying the ex-wife is the one that killed, I don't know, because Jimmy thinks, okay, this looks pretty bad, but he still thinks that Kid Martin killed these people, but I said, why? If they really felt he killed them, it, their actions don't speak that way. So I don't know. We'll see. I'll see what uh, tomorrow brings there. And I don't, you know, I, I don't know. Because today, this week is going to be an absolutely insane week. I've got a really important, a very important meeting on Tuesday. Um, and then I'm, supposed, I'm wondering if my dentist appointment that they called me at the last minute uh, last week is going to be rescheduled for this week. Plus I have a grief counseling on Wednesday. And I think Wednesday we have to get, uh, the car switch cars and stuff. So it's going to be insane, but I'm going to try to do my best to catch up on the trial. But right now I am going to put the numbers in Slack and I am going to go on the other side of the kitchen and I'm going to do really, really, really noisy stuff with the flowers. Cause I know that, um, these people that watch really want that. Okay. All right. So you sent me the thing, milk and cookies. I was trying to send you. Oh, okay. 
Now, this is funny. Sour Milk and Cookies was trying to send me a video of a huge beaver running around their yard. I was so caught up in the whole conversation about beavers that I tried to hurry and send that as a joke. Aha, okay. I'm new to your channel and don't normally talk to people I don't know, but after watching you guys for a few months, I couldn't resist any longer. You guys are great, and I can really appreciate how you stand up for victims. I think God does have a way of bringing people together in strange and definitely unexpected ways. It's nice to see that in such horrific situations with the whole Watts case and the tragic and untimely death of your beautiful son, Ray, that you have become so close to the Rusaks. Yes, I enjoy everyone's sense of humor, the crafting, true crime conversations, and thank you for being so welcoming. I'm not very tech savvy, and all of this is new to me again. Sorry for the beaver video not coming through. Thanks. You are very welcome. Thank you for explaining, because when I get an email like that, I get scared, because usually, not, I, and especially on my mommy ramblings, I get a lot of weird... Um, troll stuff from the blogs and it's not troll stuff from youtube it's these people that try to send viruses and that's how they send them they either put like a line like here's your invoice or or, or something and then you're supposed to just click on that thing and then you're going to get a virus so when i see something like that sorry sour milk and cookies that yeah i called that out but when i see that that's what i think but thanks for explaining that okay all right, now. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Mimi, can you please? Okay, Mimi, I'm sending you something back real fast, but okay, so now I'm going to put the number in Slack and then I'm going to go on the other side of the kitchen because I've got crafting and I, what is that now? Just a mom. Just a Mom Mazio has become a member. Welcome, Just a Mom Mazio. Thank you for becoming a member. Okay. Now, I'm going to go put the number in. Shoot, I hope I didn't just, because um, I, I saved it so I wouldn't have to do that. Let me hope that I can. Do I do? do. Oh, shoot. See? Every time I think I save myself some time. Well, not every time. Don't speak in absolutes. It's the tree school. Okay. We still don't know, you know, I spoke with Scooter today, but I still didn't find out where she went last night. I still have no idea where she went. Remember she just disappeared? I did that purposely for our friends. For our friends. I know how you love it, friends. Can't stop. Okay, let me see where, I don't know where the zoom went. Hang on. Okay, zoom, zoom, zoom. 
All right. Um, trying to find the chat now. Okay. So, all right. Um, I have to wait till someone comes up. So maybe because I have to go on the other side and it won't work out if, if someone doesn't come up. Hi, Carol boys. Hi, hi, Prim Proper. Hi, Beth Plant. Maybe still at the beer garden. No, I mean, she's been messaging me. Hi, Kathy from Texas. Hi, Sharon. The screen got smaller. What are you talking about? Really? So say, hold on. Now the screen is bigger. Hi, Gail B. Hi, Shar Shar. Kayla Villalobos. Villalobos. I don't blame you for being cautious. Yeah, no, I have to be because I have nuts. I have nutty people. I have nutty people. Not, not in our, you know, not part of our community, but that love to uh, troll. Hi, Isabel. Hi, Robin Lane. Tammy McDee, Deirdre Realtor. Do, 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 do. Oh boy. Well, I can't craft if if somebody doesn't come up to read to help with ch like read chat and stuff cuz when I go on the other side I can't I can't see the chat cuz I have to use my phone. Hi, I may take my like back. I can't hear now. Hi Carolyn, I may take my like back. I can't hear now. Oh, really? Because of that? That is really that? Really? Don't take your like back, Carol Plant. Worried about you last time. Oh, Deirdre, you mean? Yeah, Deirdre was on last night to talk about that. I wonder if Davida got her stuff in the ground. I mean, in her pots. Okay, so let's see. Hi, sure, sure. Yeah, that's okay, man. Patty, I understand. Um, let me see if I can message uh, Scooter. Scooter, why can't I message? Oh, Debbie just mentioned me. Oh, she's on. Debbie, Scooter. What? 
She's mentioning me. Is she in a Facebook war over here? Oh dear. Wow. Unless that's an old one. All right, so we shall see. We shall see. All right, well then maybe, um, then maybe we, um, well, because if I go on the other side of the kitchen, then I won't be able to talk to you, like I can talk to you, but you, I won't be able to see a thing you're saying. Because it's not like I'm even on YouTube on the other side of the kitchen. I'm on um, Zoom and I can't see the chat at all. I can't even like momentarily look at the chat. Hi, Leah Jane. Hi, It's Bank. So... Then I guess... No, I haven't seen that, Lisa H. My gathering place. Okay, um, then I guess we're going to have to do something else. Okay, so in the meantime, I'm going to open a birthday ball in the meantime because we can't do anything else. Hi, Lisa H. Have you guys ever, like, if there's, like, a dog that everybody goes crazy about and everybody loves, is there are there any dogs that everybody loves and you think are not, um, are not cute? Vanessa, Renda, how are you? <clears throat> Hi, Kevin Leonard. Oh, Lisa H., are you serious? This is like this is like a really old shirt, and it's so like big and stretched out. Look at this thing, Lisa. That it was falling off. It was falling off me of my arms and my shoulders and stuff. And I just had to pull it back. And I need like to put like a clothespin on it or something in the back, but I was gardening all day and that was it. Deidre says pit bulls, which now, okay, wait, I'm missing. You guys are going too fast. Um, Aurora says pit bulls. Can't see. Oh, I only have top chat, so I don't know who the smashed up face is that you're talking on which dog. Um, Labradoodles, you don't like the Labradoodles, huh? What is it? Is there something specifically about the uh, Labradoodles that you don't like? Hi, 
Hi, Rose. You like big baggy hoods? This is the watercolor paints. I can just feel them. I can just feel them. I'm okay, Cammy, thanks. All right, so now Sage Moore. Hey, Sage Moore. The snake. The snake. The snake. Hi, honey. Hi, Kim. Okay, and then we have a frisbee. Bull Terrier, Sharsha. Yeah. And then the paints that um, I think Bitey Cat took these. Hi, Jendo. <gasps> Finally, I, I did not have this one. I think that um, Peridot Eyes got one of these and they were not in the package. But this is one of the ones I was missing along with the turtle mask. Hold on. Come on, there you go. You know what? When it focused, I finally saw the head. I, I was seeing something else. So that's good. That's what I needed. All right. Yapping dogs that bark at a leaf dropping. Doodly do. So that's interesting. If you don't like the Labradoodles, the Bull Terrier, I kind of agree with you on that one. You've been opening the new Toy Mini Brands this weekend? I'm going to open one more. Um, what's sad? I don't know if I don't like... Well, I don't mean that you don't like them. That See, you're not understanding me. I, it's not that I don't like them. It's that is there one that everybody goes nuts over that you don't like really care for. But if I'm not a Dr. Schottker, if the dog was needing help or something, of course I would help them. The police took them. The police took who? What's going on? Is something going on? The police took who? What's going on? Sharon, they can burn on a dime. What is going on? Oh, the pit bulls, yeah. The about the baby, yeah, there was a baby killed by them, yeah. Hi, Jane Grill. But. But I, I mean, it's to each their own. It's like, and then sometimes when it's your dog, even if it's not the prettiest thing it's it's your dog because it's your dog and that's it it's a good i'm trying to see 
Sully, what dog is gorgeous? Somebody said, Sully, that puppy is gorgeous. What puppy? You've got a golden retriever. He's so beautiful. Oh, okay. Your birthday was last week. Oh, you're happy to see we have a close birthday, Sagemore? Happy birthday. Me, 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 me. Okay. Now you have to back in. Some dogs are so, they, exactly, exactly. But I mean, it's just like sometimes there's a craze on a certain dog. I'm not talking about a dog. It like it, I, Maybe I'm not making myself clear. I'm not talking about a dog in particular. Like a certain, I'm saying, forget it. It's not, you don't know this dog. We're just talking about breeds. Are there any breeds of dogs that people go crazy about? And you think to yourself, wow, okay. That's what I'm saying. I'm not talking about a dog in particular. I'm just talking about if you were, you know, is, are there are there any that you go, hmm. Like some people don't like toy, toy, toy poodle, right? And the poodle in general gets a really bad rap, right? A lot of people are barret. Oh, yeah, it's a poodle. Oh, yeah. Right. But, you know, I, th I think toy poodles are cool. Even miniature poodles, even standard poodles are cool. And they're very smart. But I've never had one, you know, but I think I've always wanted, I used to want one. My father got me this stuff on once and um I wish I still had it okay and this is the little speaking of dogs this is a little blue robo dog but um that's a very good memory but anyway yeah chihuahuas so you don't like chihuahuas rose and there was a big craze on the chihuahua right with the taco bell dog um see she says she doesn't like the great dane or the big or the toy poodle Lots of opsos that have the, and the see, I had a lots of opso and she had some issues with her teethies. And this is, um, uh, Ren and Stimpy. I don't know if that's Ren or Stimpy. That's neither Ren nor Stimpy, no. Sorry, I kept asking the question. I don't know, I don't know what you're talking about, Rose, so don't be sorry. Oh, the little unicorn squad ball. Unicorn squad. Okay. And let's see. Whoops. Oh, this is the little SpongeBob. I'm not sure if I have this one. I might have a gold one like him or Scooter does. I don't know if I have a gold one like him or Scooter does. Your favorite dog is a cat. And this is flat. I need that little mask. I never get it. And I got the washable moccas. The washable moccas. Your mother loves boxers. You rescued a Rottweiler. Yeah, see, I'm not crazy about Rottweilers. Not crazy about Rottweilers. Your adult kids want a gold. You want a golden doodle. You're not that big on Yorkshires. I never met a dog I didn't like other than. Yeah, but see, I'm not talking about meeting the dog. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the breed. Let's just say you had to go, you were looking at breeds. I'm just saying, is there something that you say, nah, I'd really rather not look there? That's what I'm saying. But I'm what I'm what I'm saying, are there any that are like trending that you don't like? And I don't again, I don't mean a particular dog. Okay, I don't mean like the dog's walking up to you and like, why don't you like me? Not that. 
I'm just talking about if it was your, like if you were going to get any kind of a dog and money was not an object or anything, okay? And, and I'm not talking about rescue, but this is not it. I'm just talking about breeds now. Is there a dog in general that, who's yelling? Sunspear, I'm yelling? That uh, you would say, mm, I really don't really want to look at, I don't really like that. Like an Afghan hound. I don't think they're ugly, but the personality that I found on them is not something that I would want. But now if an Afghan hound came up the driveway and if it could speak to me and say, hey, I have nobody to take care of me, I will be your best friend. I will say, come on in, best friend. Come on in, new best friend. But I'm not particularly seeking out an Afghan hound. Do you understand what I mean? You bred Border Collies. You border Collies need a lot, a lot of um, very active dogs and they're very intelligent and that's why they do those um, agility training. Corgis. Yeah, Corgis, I mean, I thought they were cute the first time I saw them when I was in high school, but I, w I wouldn't seek one out and say, oh, this is the one I have to have. You must stay away from, because it's the only one that has bitten you. Huskies are aggressive dogs. Not always, not always, but they can be. Any any dog can be aggressive, any dog. Um, you have labs and you love them. Meghan Markle had her baby. You heard that? Anna Sweden, you haven't been around in a long time. Everyone said you hated us. Yeah, and some people think bulldogs are ugly. It's... It, Bernice Mountain Dog. My sister has a Bernadoodle. Half standard poodle, half Bernice Mountain Dog. Yeah, oh, yeah no, she was having a girl. Meghan Markle had a baby, yes. Yes, it's her baby. Have you heard the theory? Rose? I've heard a lot of theories and none of them are true. People are driving that case all the way to the bank and back and back to the bank again and back and back to the bank again and back and back to the bank again and back and lies and lies and lies just like Cat Cash Gurnan. Cash Gurnan, it's really sad, but Cash's name is what a lot of creators out there are interested in. They say, and they pretend, but it's, it's evident. It is. It's all about the dollar bills. Oh my gosh, Alma, everybody's been waiting for you. I was just thinking about that before I came on. Where is Alma? I'm going to get a pudding because we're not going to be doing crafting, I guess, because it's going to be too late. Scooter spoiled it. Scooter. I think I'll just soak my feet then. And we'll call it a night and I'll do my flowers tomorrow in another video of my own.
I'll craft on my own. I'll make the video, but I'll craft on my own. All right? All right. Yeah, lily bath. It's little. It's not lil. It's Lilibeth, right? Lilibeth, because that's a nickname for the queen and Diana, of course, for Diana. Oh, really, Anna? Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry, Sagemore. Why do you have to sage more? Are you around a lot of negativity? Toxicity? Oh, I don't care, gathering place. I don't care because the only people that I offend are the people that can't stop watching me. It's true. It's true. I offend them so much that they can't stop watching. That they, they actually probably watch more than the Ramblers. Because they watch over and over and over again. They do. They can't stop. They are absolutely obsessed and they have no lives. And the rest of the time, they either spend talking about us or making videos about us. It's pretty sad. You got to pity that. You got to pity that. But I feel a couple of strikes coming. Because they're using property that's not theirs. Okay. Um... Oh, yeah. I don't really find them attractive, Sharon. Sorry to say, I know that I'll probably piss people off, but I don't. And for the third time, what are the birthday balls and where do you get them? They are mini brand balls and you can get them on Amazon or Walmart or I don't know where else, Target. My dad liked that breed because he's Scottish. My only friends are my family now. Anyway. Anyway. I stopped writing a paper for a law program I want into because the subject was assigned was Chris Watts. A law program. And this theory he was framed makes me sick. He wasn't framed. He wasn't framed. He wasn't framed. 
It's all lies. It's all lies. And I know that there's other creators starting with, oh my gosh, they're back to the um, billboard theory, but not the billboard, but the same thing that that's going to get him. Um, they're going to find, you know, Activate LA. It's your first time here, Activate LA. How did you find us? Sharon, we had an Airedale, so huge, and we named him Champ. Hello, Tammy. Hello, how are you? I'm okay. Activate. <laughs> Active. You still sound real low. Activate LA. Hope you are well. I hope you are well too. Activate LA. Lorraine Van Lollyveld. Happy belated birthday, Carolyn. God bless you for coming for the coming year. I love Cocker Spaniels. A gentle dog. Yes, our first dog was a Cocker Spaniel when I was little. Yes, yes, yes. We loved our poodle, Lisa says. YouTube suggested my channel. Thank you. Welcome. It's coming up on the anniversary of the O.J. Simpson murders. Yes, it is, Deidre. Yes, it is. And F. Lee Bailey died, what, two days ago? 87 years old. Yeah, we can't hear you. Hi, Larky. Oh, I turned it up. Is that better? Yeah, but now you sound like you're talking really fast. Like that. Oh. Rainy Joe, a new subscriber. We've got tons of new subscribers tonight, guys. We're having tons of them. We might make it to 40,000 right here. The way they're coming in. You're going to get a frozen watermelon bar. Oh, frozen watermelon bar. Are you like a true... Are we like a true crime channel? You know what we're like? We're like no other channel. We're completely unique. And um, there's not another channel like it. So you're very lucky you stumbled in here tonight. Activate LA. You're a very lucky person. Lucky, lucky you. We do cover true crime here, but there's, it's like Martin Paints, and if you're not born in New Jersey, you wouldn't even understand what I'm talking about. We're a whole lot more. Johnny Cochran died, Robert Kardashian too. Seems like his whole legal team. Well, it's also been 25 years, right? 20, is it 25 years or 24 years? Well, Close enough. It's it's been a long time, and uh, you know if they were think about it, if they were fifty or sixty years old, it's not like they you know. I mean, Robert Kardashian died young, and Johnny Cochran wasn't that old, but it you know, uh, Shapiro's still alive, isn't he? I wish all the new ones would hit the like button. Hit the like button or we're not gonna, I'm not gonna speak again, please. I won't speak again unless we hit get the likes up because Kathy's getting upset about it and I can't have Kathy upset. There we go. Please hit the likes. So what crap, oh you're not gonna Is it 27? Wait a minute. How can that be? Because my son was not a year old. Oh, I'm. you know what I'm thinking? I was thinking of the verdict. That's what I was thinking. You're right. You're right. I was thinking of the verdict. Uh, 
Alma says, if you don't hit the like, then take a hike. That's a good, that's a good one. Okay, we're up to 71. Is that better, Kathy? It'd be better to be even higher than that. I was so frustrated not being able to chat with you, Robbity Bob. I made my coffee, got my laptop out, and was determined to figure it out. Yeah, it was the verdict I was thinking of. That's what I was thinking of. It was 94. It's right. It's, it's right. My daughter was two at the time. No, it's actually 27 years ago. I love it here. I feel like I can be myself, Rose says. Yes, you can, Rose. Let your hair hang down. Let your hair hang down. Oh, Activate LA loves the channel already. Welcome, Activate. Okay, so, um, I don't know. During the month of May. Oh, I better get that. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Let's check who the top chatter is. I'm going to pull up the top chatter. I wonder if it's still Deborah Vancouver did. It might not be because, well, I don't know when it's going to renew because Deborah was missing in action a little bit here and somebody might have creeped up on her. I don't know if it's going to, let's try to see. Oh, Deb for Vancouver Den is still number one. Kevin Leonard is number two, but Deborah's got a strong lead. Lisa H is coming in at Number three, Robbity Bob. Number four, Danielle C has fallen. Number five, Sean Sneed. Number six, Jeanette seven, Mimi Forsyth eight, Sharshar nine, ten to Scooter Chick. Karen H is eleven. Nana Patty's twelve. Kathy from Texas thirteen. Fourteen is Sharon. Fifteen's Robin Lane. Kubi is 16 and Tammy fell off. 17's Henny's fan, number one fan. Muka 77 is 18. 19 is Snow Remover. 20 is Chelsea, formerly CM. 21 is Whisper to Me. 22 is Skipper. 23 is REA. Where is Miss Calabash? Where is AJ Vintage, Mrs. Calabash? Where are you? Mrs. Calabash, Mrs. Calabash, where are you? What the freak? Do you know who number 24 is? It's me. How can I be here? Oh, you know why? I've had a couple of premieres. I had a couple of premieres. And I, I'm number 24. I can't believe my name's on the leaderboard. 25 is Lisa Hobbs. I can't believe it. My name is up there. Crazy. Those are the top chatters since May 31st. So I don't know, maybe tomorrow will be a new day. It's a new day. It's a new day. All right. That's what I can tell you. Let's look at some true crime headlines since we're not do oh. We got Davida Lane. Maybe we will do. Hello, Davida Lane. 
Hello, yep. Davida Lane. How are you? Did you do all your planting? I guess what I did. What? I did nothing. Really? Nothing. Why? You just felt like it? I got off last night, turned on a movie. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Chet. Got starting to watch a, um, it was called Flood. It was filmed in uh, the UK. And then I couldn't go to sleep. I finally fell asleep at almost seven o'clock this morning. And then I got into a funk where I just couldn't do anything. And I hate when I get like that, but no matter what I do, I can't get out of it. Thank you. Lisa. And I kept thinking, I'll bet you she is getting all kinds of stuff done. And here I am, nothing. Well, so when I, and in my mind, I'm thinking, when I talk to her, she's going to go, well, did you get everything done? <laughs> Just like you did. <laughs> and I was going to say, I did nothing. <laughs> I mean, nothing. And I'm so aggravated at myself, but I can't help it. It's just my stupid mind. There's always tomorrow to start over yeah. again. There's tomorrow. There always is. And so, but you got all your time. Yes, and I, I just get nervous when I plant seeds, especially like, or I put something in the, I, but I did that. I got the rest of the plants out that needed to be put out. I got everything watered. I, um, but I didn't get the power washing done, so don't feel bad. Oh, well. You know? Yeah. I didn't get everything I wanted done. We couldn't get the swing set thing done, and that's just because we ran into a snafu, and we need to talk to them, and they didn't answer on the weekend. They're going to probably be pissed tomorrow. Then this week I have like a hugely crazy week and then I'm just like, Ugh. but I'm like, you know, I'm just getting to the point where, nah, it'll, it is what it is and I'll get done what I can get done. Yeah. Yeah. I have to deal with it. That's it. But uh, thank you, Lucy's World. Happy belated birthday, Carolyn. Thank you, Lucy's World. Oh, I almost forgot, you know, hold on a second. Okay. Lucy, do you know what? It's my birthday month, Lucy, and every night during this month, get her tiara. there will her be cash. there will be a birthday theme on. I will do that, and sorry to disappoint everyone because it is my birthday month. How's everybody doing in the chat? And I started Good. late because I started on the fourth. So that means I'm going to have to go into July for the three days that I missed. Yep. Sorry. Because I have to have my full month. Yeah. And I will. Okay. And today, hold on. Just got to get this. Okay. I don't know what you know scooter went off last night didn't tell anybody where she went and now oh, yeah so <laughs> i have the, this is the birthday queen now i'm gonna wear this i just, I just want, want to, to sing, sing my, my country, country tis of me when i see you in that <laughs> this, is a, this is a new one now you might notice that it has the little balls up there uh -huh, uh -huh. so it's different okay I'm good yeah, now. I'm glad. I'm glad. Thank you for reminding me, Lucy's World, because that could have been a big problem that I didn't um, dress up for my birthday month. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for reminding and me. And where is uh, the infamous scooter? I don't know. Where do you think she is? It's so crazy. Oh, she's in the tub. Is she? I don't know. Oh, because I haven't been able to get a response from her. Oh, really? No. I mean, I earlier today, yes. But, I mean, I still don't know. I, I forgot to ask her where she went last night. And now she's ignoring me. Oh. Yeah, she's ignoring me now. Well, maybe. Yeah. That's nice, Scooter. You can just ignore me. Maybe she's with Davy Poop. Yeah, maybe. Right. That could be. Could be. And then, so as I'm doing nothing today, 
you know how I get, well, I guess everybody does that looks at YouTube, but you know how you get down that rabbit hole? Guess what I was talking about today? What? Okay. Oh, gosh. Is it going to be bugs again? No. Okay. So, I, I, I just don't care for country music that much. And no offense to anybody that does. There are a few songs that I like, but I'm just not... You know, if I had my preference, it would be more, you know, rock or, you know, Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra. I mean, I'm very eclectic, but mm -hmm. country isn't my first choice. How I got onto this, I don't know. I don't know. All of a sudden, I, I see this movie, and it's about Tammy Wynette. Oh, dear. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I knew she sang Stand By Your Man. That's what I knew of her. Well, by tonight, I know her whole life history, her biography, the movie. Is she still long. alive? No. She died oh. back in 1998. My full heart and hands. Hi. I haven't seen you in forever. Thank you for the happy birthday. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so that's who I went and looked all kinds of things up about. I don't, I don't for the life of me know why I do those things, but I do. Wow. And, and that's not even someone I would listen to. I know. And OJ Simpson and Jodi Arias have the same birthday. What birthday is that? It, wasn't she in January or am I thinking of someone else? I don't know. I don't know. Don't get me started on that idiot. Hmm. Um, what do you have for dinner? World. We had Dub Burgers, corn, fresh corn on the cob. For corn sake. I love, I love the word corn. You Are do? There certain words that you, I just love the corn. The corn. It's that, <laughs> corn. I don't know what it is. It's so weird. Corn. Scooter uh, likes feasible. Oh, corn. But, um, I love corn on the cob, actually. <laughs> I really do. Corn. It's corny. But, yeah. So that's good. That's good. I'm glad. So you have a busy week ahead, huh? Um, yes, very busy. Very busy. Busy, busy, busy. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's, that's, from the, that's from that's from um from uh, the Yes, yes. Busy, busy, busy. <laughs> that tall guy. They yes, with the hat. They have the same yeah. birthday as you and and wasn't the the rabbit was his too, because it came yeah. out of the hat. Oh, well, maybe it was the rabbit one. I don't know. But no, it no, it, no, but no, no, he was a magician, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the rabbit came out of the hat. Yeah. Happy birthday. birthday. Yeah, that's right. It is frosty. Yeah, that's it was interesting, Kevin. Yeah. And I love Frank Sinatra, too, Rose. Yes, I do. But, yeah, so... Um, <laughs> anyway yeah that's it it's all it's all i know it wasn't very interesting today nothing interesting the boys they golfed this week and they were in a tournament two of them jason was supposed to be there too but they went to palm springs so the other two went to this golf tournament so I tried to get a hold of Jeremy tonight to see how it went, but he didn't answer me. He might have been in bed. Might have been. Might have been. We have to watch Roman. Oh, you do? Where's Mike going? Well, not, not until July, but he's going to go to Florida for a week in July, which, oh, great. Um, but no, he's going to visit uh, friends. Oh, okay. So, Roman, and he's so worried about Roman. He's got, Roman has got to have all this stuff. And Roman, it can't <laughs> just be, you know, he doesn't go with the other dogs. And he doesn't, because uh, he's like, kind of like a city dog, you know. He's, he goes on walks. Uh -huh. And he doesn't, he doesn't have a collar. He doesn't understand an invisible fence or anything like that. And so, like, when we used to have him down by the lake, and he took off on the side, so he's like, so he's got to be on a leash, 
and then he's got to come inside and so he can't just hang out you know with the, oh. with the other dogs and then he's got to sleep in a bed and he's very needy and um <laughs> he's he has a lot of separation anxiety and i'm like okay <laughs> Now, what do you mean? What is an invisible fence? It's with like a it's wire. Really there. Yeah, right. It's a wire, and then they have a collar that it goes. Dee, 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 if you start getting oh, near really? it, yeah. Oh. Yeah, and they know, oh. and they know, and they don't go, and then they can roam around all of our property, and it, you know, but Roman oh. doesn't have that, and Roman doesn't understand that. Oh, so oh, Roman, yeah, wire. Roman gets along well. Roman, yeah, he gets along well. But my son just seems to think that, I don't know, that Roman is just, um, that he doesn't, you know, he prefers people. He's not, I mean, he gets along, but he just doesn't. He, Roman can't be with the dog. Just be with the dog. He needs to. So, oh. so Luke is going to, Luke is going to sleep with him. I said, my, my daughter's up that week, and she just might be. She would be perfect. Um, and if he was flying out of New York, uh, that was, she, he, she would be a first. She's actually dog-sitting tomorrow night for her roommate's Irish setter. Oh, okay. But, uh, and she does that for a lot of people. So, but, hmm. Roman, Roman, Roman. When, when is she, she going to come back up? That's what she's going to decide on Tuesday. She's going to go over oh, dates. Cool. Yeah. Yep. That'll be nice. Roman, Roman, Roman. Um, I'm, I'm trying, trying to think, think what else. else. Um, oh, what was going on in the TV that you were still waiting I've got jars I have to paint. I have cans to paint. I have stuff. How many flowers do you have done now? now? Well, I, had, I was going to do a whole bunch tonight. But yeah, did, did you do any more off camera? No, no, but I had them all ready. I was going to assemble them all on camera, but I'll just do it tomorrow on my own video, another video. And how? Oh, is Jimmy still going to that thing? No. No, it we, was it was this. We lost our money on that, but what are you going to do? Oh, you did. Mm -hmm. Oh, because of the car. Yeah, right. because of, yeah, because of the car and everything, and it just threw a monkey wrench and everything. Yep. Jeff or balls open? I do, but I'm not. I I if I don't, I'm gonna save those. But I don't know. I'm just. Um, I might. I don't know if I might get, get up early in there because I've got. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow because if Jimmy gets, um, oh, the kids have to go for their second vaccination tomorrow. Okay. And then if Jimmy, if they gets the dentist to see me, then I might have to go to the dentist, get my appointment that was canceled last week done. Then um, if that doesn't happen, then Tuesday... I've got a big uh, meeting, and then Wednesday, I've got a grief meeting, and then we've got, a, I think, going to pick the car up as long as they're fixing one other thing, and as long as she can get everything ready for that, it'll be ready on Wednesday, and I just hope my oh, kids good. don't get a reaction. I don't know many kids that have gotten it, and if they found got a reaction on the second one, but I don't know. We'll see. And... Yeah, Roman know. is a um, piebald dachshund. He's a piebald dachshund that was actually brought up by a rambler last year around this time. And he has yeah. my mother's birthday. Roman's birthday is June 20th. Oh. That's my weird. mother's birthday was June 21st. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. So you're busy the whole time. So. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't got to see what's going on. But it's like, and then and there's you never this. never stop. And then there's no this. No wonder you can't remember. Yeah. And then there's this trial. And that's what I said to Jimmy. It must be fun to just make up lies. And I got to sit there and take trial notes. But I enjoy it. But it's just, it's, 
you know, it's a lot of work. It's a lot yeah, of work. And this lady work. is so painfully slow. And I'm just like, speed it up, <laughs> old buddy, please. I, I, I really, I feel for the woman because I don't think anybody should have to leave a job because of their age. But it's showing a little yeah. bit. Uh, maybe she was yeah. like this her whole life. I don't know. Because it, it is kind of the South, I think. And maybe they're just slower and just, you know, like, I don't mean intellectually. I mean, slower in right. their speech and stuff, you know? Oh, well, I know what you mean, because Mark's uncle, Uncle Dwayne, loved him, loved him. Yeah. But to have a conversation with him, and I am not joking. Oh, okay? I know. I am not joking. He would go, I'd say, hey, Uncle Dwayne, when they come out to visit, they're from Texas. Hey, Uncle Dwayne, how you doing? This is him. Well, uh, well, I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. I'm doing mighty fine. It'd be a long pause, and I'm thinking, ooh, where are we going with this? Yeah, yeah, I just love coming to California. <laughs> I'm going, God. And this is how everything would go. I don't care what conversation you were in. And I thought, I don't know how to have a conversation with him. Yeah, yeah. Because it is so slow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or, or that person oh that God, gets you and you can't get away and you try everything and, and you know this is what somebody, I, I won't say the relative that it was, but it wasn't a blood relative. It was someone's in-law. And so when we would have these big family parties, like all of us, uh, the five of us, the kids knew, oh my gosh, don't get cornered by that person because you <laughs> won't get out, right? Yeah. And um and she was sweet, sweet, like yeah. crazy, okay? And she was actually uh, like a teacher in my school system. But boy, she would start telling a story and it wasn't stopping. And so we'd see, like, I, I look in the room and I go, oh, good, she's got my brother, right? And then you try to steer <laughs> clear from there. And then my brother would be going like this. Yeah. Right? Like, please, come on, I can't take it. She won't stop. Yeah. And, um, and then somehow you'd get cornered into it. Like you'd like, I have to just go to that door. If I walk really <laughs> fast, I'm going to try to walk really fast. And then Carolyn, oh my gosh. And then your, then your brother disappears. Like he beats the hell out of there. You're like, you're like oh, oh, look, he, he must've just went away for a minute. Let me talk to you. It's been so, forever since we've been able to catch up. Now, let me tell you, I didn't know about how many, you have like, how many children now? Oh, wow. Tell me what they're doing. Like, and then you're just like, oh, please, somebody come by. Please help me. After like an hour, she's still talking. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We yeah. have that. <laughs> oh. I know exactly what you mean. And every time you Same think thing. they're done and you start to walk away. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> you know what? And I'm just like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> And then I wonder sometimes, I wonder if people think that about me. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Can you imagine if, she, if that person is thinking it about you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, don't really get around funny. her. You'll never get out. Anna says everyone has one of those in their family. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's true. It's true. <laughs> I had a friend like that when she would be on the phone. Mm -hmm. And we were a lot younger. Our kids were younger. And all. Are you talking and about I, me, I mean, Davida? Huh? Are you talking about me? No. Oh. No, my kids were young. And um, she would get on. I mean, I mean, everyone knew it, you know. And she'd get on, and you could not get off the phone. And I think, oh, my God, I'm never going to get off. I mean, and I, we, like I say, we still had young kids, so I still had things to do. But right. she, and what, what it was is when she would talk about something, she would go into depth about whatever it was that was brought up and then it would be in depth about maybe about a relative that had the same situation i mean it would just keep you know uh snowballing and you're thinking how is this going to end i don't know how this is going to end and i loved her to pieces but it was like oh heavens i mean she just would go on and everyone so, i mean she said it i mean they said it about every, her all my friends that knew her and it was like, oh, dear God, you know, you just couldn't get off. So you almost wanted to just talk to the person. Right, right. Yeah. 
But yeah, you know, but do you know, like if someone has to get off the phone, you're on with them and they go like this, oh gosh, I got to get that call or oh my gosh, I have to get that. I don't feel yeah. like, oh, I think, oh, okay, they have to get that. Go ahead. Yeah. You know, go. But I feel terrible doing that to anyone. Like, I just can't say, oh gosh, I have to go do this. So like, I'm like, oh, they, 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 they're, they're talking, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So then I feel yeah. like that's so rude to do that. Yeah. Um, but I know it doesn't because I don't feel like it's so rude if somebody says, oh my gosh, I, I have to run and do this or I'm getting another call right. or so, you know, whatever it is. But right. yeah, it's just, it's funny, 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 funny. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Now, did you, have you talked to Lisa D or texted with her? No, I'm supposed to talk to Lisa D tomorrow. Okay. And what about Sandy? Anything new with her? Sandy, I talked to quite a few times today. Not the, uh, just I mean, her. She wrote it on on the wall about her sister. She was uh, in the hospital, and uh, she wrote it on her community post. And so she was going back and forth and bringing her home and taking care of her and stuff like that. So she was, yeah. you know, kind of exhausted. Yeah. About all that. Yep. Yeah. And then you'll talk to Lisa tomorrow. And then Scooter, we have no clue what's going on with that little chick. I don't know where she went last night. I talked to her a little bit in text, but and I don't know where she is tonight. Maybe Dave said, you can't be on that show anymore. Scooter, we're going to have to take the wrench. <laughs> Can you imagine if she showed up here and it was gone? She'd be so pissed. No, yeah, he probably said, you know what? I want you to spend some time with me, woman. <laughs> And, and she's, she's going to go, oh, Dave, really? <laughs> and then he'd say, yes. And she'd say, okay. I wonder if he's going back home tomorrow. Oh, maybe. I don't know. What What was it that he came down for? Because he was all excited when he came down. Dentist, I thought. Oh, right, he had to go to the dentist. And we never asked what that what the outcome was. I'll, I'll bet you anything he needed root canal. canal. Huh. I wonder. Anyone, Anyone want to take, take some, some uh, guesses? guesses? I'm, I'm saying we're going to That's what I'm thinking anyway. I don't know. And um, what's Jimmy doing tomorrow? Oh, oh is, is he going to get the bookcases up? No, because only oh. one of them is stained. I have to stain the other one. And then I want to put the poly on them. So, and then see what I mean? It's like, and sometimes when I, like, oh, I'm like you. When I think of all that, I think, how the hell am I ever going to get all this done? And now I yeah. want to get, I'm looking for these um, blinds for my dining room walkout bay. And I tried to get them at the Home Depot and they're out of stock. And I'm looking around and I'm spending some, like, oh, I got to stop spending time looking at this, looking at, and then, oh, I just drove me nuts all day. I was like, Raw nerve, I'm trying to get my stuff yeah. done. Yeah, really, I have to go to her little graduation Wednesday. Oh yeah. Yeah, she's graduating from kindergarten. Oh wow, that's nice. And then Aubrey, she graduated uh, last week. So when I go to Hudson's birthday party, I'll see her, because only the uh, mom and dad could be there. Yeah, who's the... Hudson? Who's Hudson? Hudson is Jason's, my youngest grandchild. Oh, okay. He's and having Aubrey a birthday party? Is Jeremy's daughter. Oh, Aubrey, I know. He's having a birthday yeah. party? Yeah. How old is he? Three. <clears throat> so Jeremy's going to have it at his house, and so he got Iron Man to come because he's really into all the superheroes. So there's oh. an Iron, Iron Man coming. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so I'll, I'll Don't hit on there. him, Davida. Ah, well, I don't know. You never know with me. <laughs> I know. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm teasing. I know. If anyone's getting serious, think I'm serious. Um, but yeah, so he's going to, and the, they're going to have that same taco truck, which was delish. Oh my gosh. So, oh man, the food was good. Remember the night? Mm -hmm. we, no, no, that wasn't the night we talked. No, it wasn't. We talked, Jeremy made me dinner. Right. Um, Anyway, but the tacos and all the food, oh my heavens, it was so good. Really good. That's so, nice. yeah, I'll be able to see everybody. What did you eat for dinner tonight? Stupid. Well, 
well, not really stupid, but um, you know those frozen things I was telling you guys about, the banquet um, chicken bowl? Yeah. Gosh, those are so darn good. Really? And I know they're not good for you. Oh, they are so good. Honestly, I'm not joking. So good. So I had that in the salad. That's what I had. <laughs> I think tomorrow I might barbecue a piece of chicken. I love barbecue chicken in the summer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's my favorite in the summer is barbecue chicken. Christian. And then I might that Emma Lagasse potato salad. Yeah. Yeah, Carolyn's thinking, dear God, I said I was gonna probably go to bed. She's no, not the I wanted to make um I wanted to make meatballs tonight. No, here's what Jimmy screwed it up because he had the the, the ground beef out and I was like, Oh, he's gonna make hamburgers, but then he started yackling to my cousin and it was like a good hour and I s right before he went there, I was emptying the dishwasher. And first he goes like this don't refill that because I got to look at something. So I'm like, oh my gosh, because I, I like to get the sink. right. So I said, you know, I'm thinking about making meatballs. And he didn't give me like a no or anything. So I was like, it was just that I was getting things ready. And then he comes in and he goes like this, you can't make meatballs now. It's, I'm like, it takes 30 minutes. It's, it's hot. I'm like, it's not that hot here. Well, I want burger. And that's what we ended up having burgers. So. Did he barbecue? Uh, well, no, he cooked them inside, and I'll tell you oh, why. Okay. Because we have uh, propane for our, our, and we have it through a gas line, not just through a tank. And okay. they something happened when he was, I don't remember what it was. And I told him, make sure you call the gas company tomorrow and have them rehook the gas line and to the barbecue. And that's what he has to yeah. get done. Oh, okay. So but we could have gone to the other house and done it but i just didn't i was like oh no 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 now when do you start spending time there well we did last weekend but uh now once we start swimming weather you know and now the kids were trying to tell me it was swimming weather today and they were actually going to go today and then i was out over here on the deck and they got in the hose and then they cooled down on the hose and then it was okay because the water really is very cold right now Oh, okay. Like Jimmy was going, well, I'll just jump in a little bit. I'm like, yeah, Jimmy, the water is so cold right now. He has, he doesn't, he's not remembering that because right now it's so hot. You feel like, oh, it's going to be so, but it is like ice cubes. And yeah. I mean like ice cubes. So. How hot was it there today? Oh, like 90 degrees. Oh, really? And, yeah. And then Luke's like, that's okay. Cause we'll just jump in there and then swim all I'm like, Yeah. Look, you don't understand. It's not like, you know, it, just a couple weeks make a huge difference. I yeah. said, it, it's cold. You can, no, no, no. I had my feet in it. And then I'm like, okay. Oh, see. Uh, yeah, it's too cold yet. It'd be a shock to its system, to say the least. It wasn't real hot here today. Actually, tonight was very cool. Do your, do your nights still get cool? Yes, you can even open yeah. the windows and there's a cool breeze that comes in. Yeah. Cold like air that. comes in, yeah. Yeah. That I like when it's really hot, as long as you can get the night. But the thing is, I don't know about your house, but my house holds the heat. So it can still be cool outside. But it, the house has been hot all day. Oh, yeah. So it holds it. Yeah. It yeah. No, our, ours is pretty good. You just have to, like, like Jimmy says, you just have to close the windows right away. Like, you can keep them open at night, let the cool air come in, and then make yeah. sure in the morning, like, and don't leave, like, the sliding doors, the screen open. And, and he's putting in this pet door over here in this door behind me because they, it's a really, um, it was supposed to, this is the craziest thing. We all got in this campaign for these doors, these do pet doors. And, and I didn't want to put one in like that was going to go in my door or something like that. And so they had this one that goes next to your like sliding glass door, but it fits in a way that it's um, secure. And then you can open your door and close it. And it like takes up that much. And then you could take it out and there's no, like you don't have to drill in for it or anything like oh. that. And it's still okay. secure. Like it, no one can just get into your house either. So then 
they sent this big thing. This drawer was like, I think it was like seven. It's very expensive. It was, I want to say 500, maybe it was $700. I don't know what it was. It was crazy. It's got a glass, a beaut like it's really nice. Okay. It's a heavy duty thing. And then they go like this. The campaign's over, like, there was some kind of thing, but you guys can all keep the pet doors. Oh. But you don't have to do anything, because I forget what it was. And I was, but like... You're not afraid of something, something getting, getting in, in, though, like a little... Critter? No, because it locks. This is... You know what? I probably can look up the thing. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think this was, like, $800. Okay? It's a okay. whole pane, and it, it's all glass, like thermopane glass uh -huh. and then on the bottom is the pet door and the pet door locks and it's and it's very secure oh and if we and want the... like if we were going away for an extended period of time the way jimmy's putting it in it's with springs not with bolts but it locks okay. in there and you can't take it out from the outside and we but i mean if we like if we wanted to if we were going away for a week or something we could just disable it if we wanted to take it off it doesn't mm -hmm. like i said to jimmy there's no marks he said no absolutely not so oh, he was so they can just come and go as they please so he pulled that out yeah yeah i mean and then you can lock it from the inside so they can't <laughs> if you don't want them to right but um, right yeah yes i have different crowns and banners shar shar i'm going to try to switch them up for the month <laughs> yeah i'll try to switch them up as much as much as i can all right. Yeah. And um, yeah, she has a whole. Uh, whole but so he's that. That's his first project in the morning. He's gonna finish doing that, and then, um, like I said, he's got to see what this swing set people tell us, and then what else is there? now? How much will this take up of your backyard, or do you have a huge, huge backyard? Oh no, I already have it in my backyard. Oh, I never saw it. Oh, well, yeah. Well, it's not really my back. Well, it's like my backyard. Yeah, I guess it is my back, but it's a side yard. Like, okay. it's from the deck. If you, It's the same as the deck. Yeah, I guess it is my backyard, but it's my house is not in front of it. It's on the side of it. Oh, okay. Um, so, yeah, it's side yard. No, we have, a, we have a lot of property around our house. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's, but we, no, we've had the, the play structure, but... It's um, you had to put the, these new awnings on because ours got damaged in the in a hailstorm and stuff. Uh -huh. So we so then we ended up working with the company on doing like a, a maintenance kind of a thing. So Jimmy's got to put the new ones on there, but he's got to talk to them about there's something with the teeter totter that we need, and so he's got to talk with them. So now, are you going to do lives out swinging? Not swinging? No. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do a live I would. You would? Yeah. I'd love to swing. Me too. But my man I really do. COVID. And I love rocking chairs. Oh my gosh. Really? Are you serious, Gathering Place? She said her man left during the COVID isolation. After 40 years, he split. What? I guess so. Jeez. Better than killing you. Seriously, I think a lot of uh, people um, killed their spouses during that isolation. I think some we haven't even heard of yet. And their kids. Yeah. Wow, after 40 years. Don't you think, like... You don't think any of your friends or like maybe even your neighbors, unless you have a really crazy one or your family members would snap that much that they would kill someone. But then when you watch the news, you're like, hmm, people look like they were yeah. kind of normal, right? Like yeah. look at Barry Morphew. If you saw him at the Home Depot, you'd probably be like, oh, he's got the stuff going on, right? Mm -hmm. Would you think he's like would snap and kill someone or, you know, I mean, just no. thinking about right. So, but it's like, do you really know somebody? Yeah, you know, they don't and all it, look like the night stalker. Right, and a lot of these guys that are killing their wives. Look at Scott Peterson. Oh yeah, you know, right. They look perfectly normal. 
right? And then you could see him at the home. Oh, hey, how are you doing with that? Because yeah. every time I'm out, I, I kind of want to gauge people, like, say to them, hey, did you hear about this? And like, you want to go, oh, yeah, what's wrong with people like that? And then when people do that, I think, like, wow, how could, like, these other people exist? But I truly think those people would say the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, like, what's wrong with people like that? Killing yeah. their wives, killing their kids, right? But it's, um, I don't know, it's just so weird. Because, like, look at all of us here on mm -hmm. any given night. And yet you keep hearing the news reports and the news reports and the news, right? And it's like, oh, my gosh, like, could somebody be living with someone like that? Or Right. I don't know. It's just crazy. Yeah. Right? You never know. I never know. Like Scooter said, what if you went in that shed and found out your husband was a serial killer? Ooh. And Scooter says she would still stay with him because he's a good guy. And he she treats him. <laughs> yes, don't you remember? She was scaring the crap out of us because I was like, Scooter, is that true? Was she kidding? She, I, you know how Scooter is. Sometimes when she kids, you can't tell. She said, I have a question. It's, you know, if you went, you know, like that... Um, Stephen King thing, that perfect couple or something, yes. perfect marriage, yes. right? And the well, ladies are like, da da, 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 She's looking for something, right? And then finds that. And I, I just love, like I told you the other night, how that whatever box she found was probably there for 20 years. But it uh -huh. seems when she finds it, everything changes. Like, I mean, changes yep. to the point that she's terrified now. Yep. Had she not found it, she wouldn't have been terrified. She uh -oh. wouldn't be all jumpy and jittery and on the run. And, like, the whole change happens in the movie, too. Yeah. It's like that typewriter in Jagged Edge. Mm-hmm. Right? Exactly. Okay? Like, she's freaking. Why not just put the typewriter back and act normal? Yeah. Right? You didn't know a thing. You don't get it later or whatever. Like, it, it was just like, you know, everything was, like, just so crazy. And then when he stops the car when she's leaving... Yes. And she's like, yeah, I just got to go. And she throws her coat over it. But that it's like, weird. yeah, but like, why act that crazy? Why yeah. wouldn't you just act like super cool? And that's what I think sometimes. And the other thing that always bugs me is when it's a mystery or they finally get away from the person and they have the chance to kill them. So they you know stop. You or them. They okay, stop. You know yeah, they stop it. at one. At and like, they, stop. they go. They. I, oh, think, I think that's good. It. And then they go <laughs> and they jump up after yeah. you, right? And they go to grab you. And you're thinking, finish the job because if you don't, and he gets up, it's right. curtains. Right. Yeah. I, I, that always bugs me. And then I always say to myself out loud, Hollywood. It's Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> right. And then yeah. it's not only that they don't finish killing them. And then they, like, sit down right by the killer, right? Yeah. So yeah. that they can grit. They don't run. They don't get the hell out of there. They sit yeah. down there, and they, like, contemplate everything. <laughs> so that the person just reaches over and grabs them. so far away. Right? Or they stand right over them, so they usually grab their leg. Uh-huh. Right? And they go, <gasps> Yeah. Oh, my gosh. But, yeah, so Scooter said, what if you went out in the shed and... You saw something like that and, you know, when you found out, like, in your husband's past that he did this stuff. But, you know, he hasn't in a long time and he's always been really good to you. Would you stay with him? And we're like, Scooter, are you serious? And she's like, I would because, you know, oh he's always been a good guy. And, he's, and I'm like, Scooter, did this really happen? Because, like, the way she told it, I wish I could mm -hmm. find what video that is. And it still scares the crap out of me today because I'm not sure if Dave is a serial killer. <laughs> oh, because he's always gone? Well, no, because of the what she sounded like she was really, really oh. talking about herself and um, oh, okay. scared the crap out of me. She's like, oh, I, I, that wouldn't deter me. I mean, you know, always been good to me, always done things for me, is a good guy, and it was in the past. So, you know, I mean, that's it. It was in the past. But the she, thing is, usually she'll <clears throat> she'll laugh. Yeah, no, she didn't laugh, and I wish I could find it. Um, Have you ever noticed that? Because I always think, don't laugh so soon because you give yourself away. 
Right, but right. yeah, sometimes, like a few times she hasn't, maybe she's telling the truth then. Crazy. That would be scary though. Oh. Especially guys that don't stay at home all the time, whether it be that they're traveling salesmen or right, you don't have a job salesman. that takes them away for yeah. days at a time. Mm -hmm. They have a separate life. What are you doing there? Check on Scooter now, <laughs> Lucy. Said. I did check on her. I did, but Lucy's world. Um, let me see. She didn't answer me. Did you just try? I'm looking. She didn't see. She didn't see my message. Do 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 do. Usually like that, or um, not really. She's been a little bit weird these last few nights. So I was saying, like, um, the big, big, you know, scoop. The big scoop, guys. It's from these people in these uh, groups, okay? okay. Um, and I'll tell you. Um, doo -doo -doo. And they were making the biggest deal about a post that Trevor tagged himself at the funeral home. Well, you can tag yourself anywhere. That didn't mean 100% yeah. he was at the funeral home, okay? And, um, but off to the races. Oh. Yeah, You're off to the races. Now this stems, you said, from Facebook? Yeah, it's on a Facebook group. And the creator goes in there, picks up something in there. It doesn't matter if it's factual, if it's not. As long as it's a good uh, story, it doesn't matter where it came from. It doesn't matter if it's true. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. But you do a lot of work with your investigating. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised you never became a lawyer. I probably would have, but then I didn't want to... You know, I, I mean, I didn't want to leave my kids at that point. I was, because um, I was pre-med when I started, and I was going to, um, I made the decision I was going to go to uh, pre-law and then law school, and then I had my kids, uh, and that was my choice. I wanted to, I didn't want to leave them, and at that time, if I could have gone to law school like you can online and done that stuff online, I'm sure I would have done it. Oh, okay. But I, I just didn't want to leave them at that time. And I did go <clears throat> and finish my degree. But uh, and, and I got finished my Bachelor of Science. And then I even did the clinical hypnotherapy. I got my license in that. And I got my real estate license, too. So I've done a lot of stuff afterwards. But, yeah, I mean, I, I would have loved to. Would have loved to. But I've, I've learned a lot from living in a family of lawyers and... Working with lawyers, so yeah, I mean, it's just. Now, what kind of a lawyer would you have wanted to have been? I I would have loved to have been a prosecutor. Yeah. Yeah, I would. I have. can see that. I couldn't be a defender. Mm hmm I I just couldn't. Right. A defense attorney. Yep. Oh my gosh. What? Nothing. Just really, somebody posted a video in the group of these two little boys, and this creator goes, I just put it up on my channel as a short. It's not your freaking content. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Mm. Sure They'll get in trouble, won't they? You'd think so, yeah. But since, um, I don't know, that creator doesn't care about the mother of a murder victim asking her to take down things, I doubt it. Wow. You want to be a criminal lawyer, Rose? Oh, I don't my know. goodness. I, just, oh, I think it would just get to me too much. 
You have to have the stomach for it. Mm -hmm. Order to. No date for me, still single. You're hating it, Rose. I could see you up there yelling. <laughs> My my mother with my mother always said she's like, that's what you need to do. She's like those people would jump out of the seat and say, "I did it, I did it. Please take me to jail. I can't take it anymore. Yeah. I can't take the questioning anymore. I did it. She's right. I did it. Take me away." <laughs> my mother always said that to me. <laughs> oh my gosh, because I I would yeah, always because I would that. always read to like. Wait a minute. Didn't you say that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I thought you said you weren't going to that store. I would, but then you just said you went to that oh. store. So which one is it? You weren't going to the store. You did, or you didn't go today. You didn't. What was going on? <laughs> I'm always like that. I always notice like all these little things that a lot of people just don't even notice. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know, but didn't catch that he said that he went to that store? No, I didn't. He said he did. No, he didn't. <laughs> you know, and they're like, oh, well, what does it matter if he went to that store? Yeah. yeah. You went for coffee today and where did you go? <laughs> <laughs> and have they done any more on that one guy that um, down in uh, San Diego or by San Diego? The, the eight shots? No, I can't believe it. What the freak? I thought he'd be arrested. I really did think an arrest was was like imminent, but it's got it's going to be. I know it is. It's just going to be like I'm going more like Morphew, where they need some more information. Oh yeah, I mean, you know what? Usually when they're that silent, they're doing things behind the scenes. Yeah, right. And then they'll come out and arrest him. Yeah. It just seems like they would have more evidence you know because of the house the freezer and all that they would do more checking i mean where the other one went or what was in that one and i still don't think that she was shot eight times she, she couldn't have been there's no way it would have been a mess and he couldn't have cleaned all that that quick mm -hmm. yep you just made a video about that huh but why did he do that? I, don't, I, I want to, I, there's so many questions I have with that. I just, yeah, the whole case, I don't know. Those shots, how could you have this? None of it, none of it's making sense, but. Uh-uh. No. Yeah, no, you I just, just have, have to believe that they're working behind this. They all, I mean, they did, went and they went and did another search like a few weeks ago. And that's why I thought, okay, okay, they're just getting their whole theory. But, you know, hopefully, hopefully, maybe this week. Yeah. Uh, but really? Anyway, yeah. But anyway, I think I'm going to oh, call it an early night tonight because I'm going to go. Because I didn't get the massage chair for, I think it was, did I get go in the massage chair? No, I didn't go in the massage chair yesterday. So it's. Two nights, I'm going to go in the massage chair at 3 and then get to bed by 3.33 and get ready to face the new tomorrow. week. Yeah. But thank you guys for coming in. I'm sorry. I'll do the flowers in a video tomorrow, um, but I just I can't see at that time. But I, I will see you guys later on. Okay. And uh, Bye, love Jen. you guys. Prayers for love everyone you. that we said, and I hope everybody's well. See you guys tomorrow. Everybody take care. God bless. Bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, you're sleepy too, Danielle. Okay, bye. Uh-oh. The Vita left and it freaked me out.